What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and recently I ran across a couple of memes of a first person or 3D Osu game or OS game and I've been really curious to see if it's actually a thing. But long story short, first person OS is a real thing and you're able to download it and play it yourself. That's exactly what I'll be showing you in this video as well as how to get a perfect sense if you're used to other first person shooters or first person games in general. So anyways, let's begin with part one. How exactly do we get our hands on a first person Osu client? Well, all you have to do is create a Steam account if you don't already have one, download and install Steam, and then fire it up. Inside of the Steam store, we'll be searching for Mac Osu. So simply MCOSU, and you'll be downloading the Mac Osu client. You may have heard of FP Osu, but this is the client that it's merged with, and everything from that is in this one as far as I understand. Simply just download it and install it on your computer. Then after you've downloaded it, simply fire it up. When you get prompted whether you'd like to open it in VR mode or desktop, select desktop and then click play. So when the game fires up, you'll see something similar to this. You can click in it, click play, etc, etc. But what we're going to do is open up the options with control O. If you've played Osu, you know exactly what this is. At the very top, we have general and we have an Osu folder over here. Simply just make sure that this folder here is the same folder that the actual OSU is installed on your computer with a whole bunch of songs inside of it. And of course that all three of these are checked so that this way it'll load all of the songs, all of your current scores saved on your local computer and stuff like that into the game. You won't have to download any new songs or anything like that, it uses your existing OSU library. Now of course because this isn't an official client, so your scores won't be submitted to the internet. However, they will be saved locally, so you can set a username here as far as I know. Then, while we're here, you may as well explore the graphics section and have a look at all of these options here. If you record or stream, it's probably a good idea to limit your FPS, but of course, that's just me. Without going into too much details, I'll simply scroll down past all these options to the skin section. Once here, click local skin if you'd like to pick a skin that you already have installed inside of Osu. I'll use my usual one, skin without name. And as you can see, it's basically Osu already. We've got the background of the skin and my custom cursor. All that we have to do from here is adjust the cursor size because it is incredibly large as is. I put it around 0.5. This is usually what I play Osu with. As for the rest of the options here, it's all up to user preference. You can open up skins in the normal Osu client and they'll appear under the local skin section here, of course, once you restart the game. The workshop section over here, I'm not too sure how it links with the game, but you're able to download skins off of the workshop. Skipping past all of those settings, we have an input section. Once again, you can adjust things here, but all I'm going to change is this option, which we can toggle with F10 to disable mouse buttons in play mode. Scrolling down to the very bottom, you'll see FPOSU 3D. This is the little 3D icon on the left hand side here. This is what we're looking for, and this is what enables the first person Osu experience. Simply just turn it on, and once that's done, you can choose whether you'd like a curved area or a background cube. If you don't know what these are, don't worry, while we're actually playing the game, we can bring up this options menu with Control O to adjust things while playing. Then I would leave everything else as default, I'd only focus on this down here, FP Osu Mouse. Simply just click on this link over here, and a browser page will open up. Simply scroll down and you'll see a whole bunch of info over here. Right over here under calculator settings, we're looking for the units section. Change it from inches to centimeters. Then scrolling down a bit further, we have input where we can enter two games, a game that we're converting from and a game that we're converting to. So all that we have to do is click the drop down under the first section and we'll choose the game that you like to play. I of course play a lot of Counter-Strike, so I'll search for Counter-Strike Global Offensive, then click on it. This is the game that we'll be copying our sensitivity from, just to give us a good point of reference, and of course if you'd like to use this to help train your aim, you can do that as well. In game, I play with a sensitivity of 1, I think, but we can check this very easily by firing up whatever game it is and looking in the in-game options. You need to be accurate here if you'd like a proper conversion to keep your sensitivity roughly the same. So inside of CSGO, I can bring up the console, type in sense, and we see sensitivity 2.5. Right, so that's what I'll punch in. Sensitivity 2.5. Then my DPI of my mouse also needs to be accurate. I can get this from the Logitech software as I have a Logitech G502. So I'll head into the sensitivity section and my current setting is 1750. 
Cool, so I'll punch in 1750 DPI. Then we have a couple of settings on the bottom row. My screen resolution is 2560 by 1440. I play at native and I have a 24 inch display. Then on the right hand side, you can ignore all of this unless you specifically changed or set one of these things in game or you understand what they do. At the very bottom, we see convert to, simply select the game and type in Mac Osu. Click on it and then everything should be punched in for you. From here, simply scroll down a little bit to the calculation section and you'll see the two games that you've selected here. Under the Mac Osu look, you'll see sensitivity and 360 distance over here. What we're gonna be looking at is the 360 distance. For me, it's 9.5003. So I'll open up Mac Osu, enter my DPI as 1750 and the centimeter per 360 is 9.5003. After doing this, you're basically done. All of your settings are automatically saved and you can scroll through the rest of this to see if you'd like to toggle anything. I recommend leaving it down here in this section as we'll be coming back here in game. So I'll close out of this and click on the main game, play, and you'll see my entire library of songs are here. From here, you'd usually want to do something like sort by difficulty, and basically everything's the same as Osu. You can alt scroll to change the volume, and of course you have your modifiers. Head into the game, and you'll see somewhat what it looks like. Of course, it may be a bit far away from you, which is what it looks like for me. So I'll get just far enough into the song to see what it looks like. I'll pause it and hit Control O to bring up the options. From here, I usually like to drop the distance. That's a bit too far. You may want to hover over it and use the arrow keys left and right to change it up and down instead of holding it as that'll get a weird vibrating effect. From here, I'll put it at say 0.5. That seems about good. Field of view you can change. I like having it at about 90. And of course, the field of view zoom key, which you can use with a key bind up here to zoom in and out of the gameplay. I'll set it to say numpad zero. We'll let you zoom in and out of gameplay, I'm pretty sure. So I'll set the field of view zoom to say 43, head back into the song, and you can see exactly what happens when I hold down zero. Now, of course, this wouldn't be too useful for you unless you're trying to do incredibly small jumpy things. Play with everything to see what you like. Getting your sensitivity right is pretty important, but once you do, the game's not too hard to play in this mode. In fact, it's quite a refreshing experience over the normal Osu game, especially if you're used to FPS already. It can be a bit disorientating for the first little bit, but it is a lot of fun. But anyways, that's about it for this video. If you'd like to get new beatmaps and the rest for the game, simply just download them and open them up as usual inside of the normal Osu client. That'll install them and you can close that of normal Osu, reopen this and everything will appear as you'd expect. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.